Besides viscous, granular, rigid and elastic solvers, a viscoelastic solver has been added to this new version of RealFlow for Cinema 4D. We're going to create a square emitter and adjust it. The entire RealFlow scene, fluid node and emitter will be generated automatically. We're going to generate an animation for this emitter. This animation will allow us to emit particles during several frames. We add the keys to generate the animation. We're going to set the random parameters to zero for the emitter. Inside the fluid node, we are going to change the particle size in the viewport and activate the automatic range to see the velocity magnitude without a fixed value. In order for the fluid to be able to collide with the geometry, we must add a collision tag to the geometry. We increase the friction to 1 and decrease the bounce parameter to 0. If we simulate now, we will see how the particles reduce their velocity when colliding with the geometry due to the value of the friction parameter in the collider tag of that geometry. By default, when we add an emitter, the fluid is PBD. In order to change what kind of solver we are using, we must do it from the fluid node. We are going to select viscoelastic as the type of solver to use. When we choose viscoelastics, the simulation parameters will change, as well as the steps used to simulate. We are going to add a gravity daemon to the simulation. When simulating, we see how the gravity is affecting the particles. Using the GPU within RealFlow in Cinema 4D, it will speed up the simulation considerably. In addition, the steps are adjusted internally according to the solver for simulating. We are going to increase the number of particles in the simulation by changing the resolution parameter of the fluid. And we are going to adjust the emitter scale a bit more. Run the simulation. For the viscoelastic solver, we have parameters such as cohesion, to group nearby particles or the damping parameter to add more stability to the simulation. We're going to add it to the measure. High values for the damping parameter will add more viscosity to the viscoelastic fluid. We are going to increase the particle resolution inside the fluid node. Note, if we increase the steps and iterations, we are also adding more stability to the fluid, as well as increasing the tension between particles by adding more stiffness to the fluid and simulating. 